Okay, uh, in the last meeting, uh, I introduced another definition of geography. Geography study uh, the relationship between people, places, and environment by mapping information about them into a spatial context. So geography study uh, uh, places study human environment relationship study human land interaction human environment interaction by mapping information about them into a spatial context we have a tool in geography called gis geographic information systems it's a tool yeah specialized in mapping the environmental factor, human factor, physical factor into a spatial context can do spatial uh, estimation, do spatial analysis and help make spatial decision. So last time we uh, discussed uh, the human environment interaction. We are impacted by the environment. I think last time uh, uh, we discussed the suicide rate, do you remember? Yeah, in the high latitude area, yeah, the country like Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Finland, yeah, the suicide rate is high. Even though yeah, they are wealthy country per capita, income is high, tuition in college is free, yeah, the health care everybody is covered but suicide rate is high and then on the other hand in the tropical area yeah, they, they are not really wealthy country per capita income is not high but environmental factor yeah the sunny sky sunny day warmer temperature yeah impact yeah come uh, impact the suicide rate I, I think we discussed that and then we discussed yeah, the the uh, important innovation. I think I mentioned that um, uh, 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 based on my personal observation, uh, they 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 uh, largely came from the middle latitude area. Middle latitude area. Yeah, yeah. In the long human history, in the long human history, even now a day, even now a day. Yeah, you, you can see the European country, US, yeah, and, and many middle latitude area. That's the um, yeah, is the um, uh, high tech innovation uh, region. Yeah, in US, thinking about that, the Google, the search engine, social media, Facebook, yeah, e-commerce, Amazon.com. I, I think a lot of the, uh, innovation just in the last couple of decades. In the last couple of decades. Uh, uh, in the Asia, yeah, the, the, the Japan, yeah, middle latitude area, Japan, South Korea, yeah, Taiwan, yeah, it's relatively high tech compared to the, yeah, the country, yeah, in Asia, closer to, uh, tropi tropical region, yeah, you, you can still see this kind of a pattern, yeah, and, and so the, yeah, uh, uh, we discussed the, the hu human activities yeah, are impacted by the environment and of course the human activity impact environment such as global warming issue I think we, we, we all uh, uh, know very well about yeah, this topic in recent years yeah ozone depression issue human activity yeah impact environment and actually yeah environment impact yeah human events human activity yeah throughout the history yeah uh, in the early 13th century the cold and famine environment in Mongolia region contribute to the Mongolian people, the Genghis Khan, you probably heard about that. Genghis Khan and uh, his 
children and grandchildren. Yeah, due to the Mongolian region, the cold and famine yeah, situation. So they went south, they went south, conquer most of the Asia and Eastern Europe, contribute to the environmental uh, 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 can, uh, environmental factor contribute to the, the histo historical event and uh, we know that the, the early 20th century uh, the Russian uh, revolution, communist revolution uh, at the beginning of the, the, the 20th century uh, in Russia is the bad, the weather is terrible so impact the agricultural production is possible. Uh, environmental factor contribute to the communism revolution in early 20th century. Yeah, and yeah, we know the the Black Death. Um, one of the uh, theory, yeah, to uh, consider the origin of the plague, yeah, Black Death. Is from China, and then uh, the reason is the flooding. Yeah, flooding change. Yeah, the 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 contribute to the diffusion of the Black Death. Uh, the Yellow River uh, flooding in the 14th century. Yeah, is the, the one of the uh, uh, major reason contribute. Yeah, to the European Black Death events. Events. Okay, and then so we go to the, the next slide, the next slide. So the, yeah, geography is a spatial science, deal with spatial data, yeah. So the, the what is spatial data? Spatial data is geographically reference data. It's a data with coordinate. Data have a latitude, longitude value. Data have uh, X and Y. Data have uh, Eastern value, Northern value. Data is mappable. Data is mappable. So geography is a spatial science. Yeah, yeah. History, on the other hand, is the temporal science. Study the events. Yeah, happen in different period of time. Geography is a spatial science. Yeah, deal with spatial data and do spatial measurement spatial analysis and help make spatial decision help to make spatial decision yeah everybody yeah yeah um, we, we we make spatial decision we make spatial decision yeah think about that yeah in your daily life this morning yeah, you wake up, you decide which highway to go, to go to school, right? You, you decide which highway to drive, spatial decision. After you arrive at yeah, this, re this area, you decide which exit to get out of the highway, right? To get out of the highway. After you arrive at William Patterson University, you decide which parking lot to go. Of course, it depends on your the uh, class schedule. Depends on the day of the week. Depends on your knowledge and information regarding availability of parking space in each parking lot. Yeah, for example, at at the, at the time of the hour, maybe parking lot seven. Yeah, it's difficult for you to find a parking space. Right? You 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 make special decision. Decide. Which parking lot to go? Yeah, in order to to find a parking space. Yeah, and then you enter the classroom. You decide which seat to take. Spatial decision. Spatial decision. Yeah, even you get you enter men's room. Yeah, men's room. Yeah, let, let me ask you. Yeah, men's room. Yeah, you enter the men's restroom. Yeah, there are five urinals. Yeah, five you know though. You know number one, two, three, four, five. Five you know in the 
men's room. Then you open the door, yeah, and then you see gentleman one using you know number one and gentleman two you the second gentleman use the you know number three. Yeah, so they mean two men use you know number one and three. Let me ask you, let me ask you, which you know number you will go? Which you know you will go? Yeah, in in uh, uh, our on-site meeting, our on-site meeting. Yeah, by the way, this video is prepared uh, for student. Yeah, who cannot come to the in-person meeting, on-site meeting. So I prepare a video. Yeah, for them to yeah, to watch. Yeah, for the material. Yeah, I presented in the class classroom, on-site meeting classroom. So the yeah most of the students uh, in the class they answer number five number five yeah uh, none of them answer number two although you are pretty sure the two gentlemen will not hurt you but you still go to number five keep a certain distance from each other. Actually, in geography, we call it scattered spatial pattern. Scatter spatial pattern. Geographic entity tend to keep a certain distance from each other. Yeah, geographic entity tend to keep a certain distance from each other. Yeah, scatter spatial pattern. Even though you are sure the two gentlemen will not hurt you. You try to keep a certain distance from each other. On the other hand, yeah, I give you an example, the, the clustered spatial pattern. Clustered spatial pattern. Geographic entity tend to get together, such as disease cases. Yeah, we are under uh, COVID-19 yeah, uh, outbreak, right? Yeah, if uh, uh, Dr. Liu yeah, have a COVID-19 affected by uh, COVID-19 and I do not wear face mask and then you do not wear face mask and then I talk a lot <laughs> and then the student yeah, sit close to me yeah, yeah, maybe it yeah, affected by COVID-19. Yeah, so if next week, if next meeting we come back to the classroom, you sit on the same seat and then we create a disease map. You will find the sickness, the sickness probably around this area. Clustered spatial uh, pattern, clustered spatial pattern. So in this Definition, geography is a spatial science, deal with spatial data. And nowadays we have a tool, GIS, Geographic Information Systems, can be used to easily process spatial data, manipulate spatial data, measure spatial data, analyze spatial data, and to help people uh, make spatial decision. Yeah, so the, you can see the, the, the NJDP New Jersey uh, Department of Environmental Protection, yeah, they use GIS to deal with their spatial data. And then the uh, planning, yeah, city planning, yeah, the uh, regional planning, they use the GIS to help them uh, manage the spatial data, process spatial data, and to help spatial decision.